Popular science says the golden age of inventions is here. Right now, the new issue of the magazine features the 2016 Invention Awards for what it says are the 10 greatest creations of the year by individual inventors. Sophie Bushwick is the magazine's projects editor, and she joins us at the table. The 10 greatest creations, Sophie. Starting off with a robot, let's go. Yeah, so we're really excited about these inventions. These are independent inventors. So it's a group of friends who decided to build a startup in their garage. It's someone who was tinkering and decided he wanted to make his own hoverboard. No corporations involved. Right, no R&D labs or anything like that. So the robot that, that came out of an MIT researcher decided she wanted a social robot that was fun to hang out with. So you've seen the, uh, the Echo with yes. its Alexa persona. That's just a tool. So Jibo can do a lot of the things that the Echo can, but it's fun to hang out with. It can tell you a bedtime story. It can take a photo of you and your friends hanging out. It can even learn individual <laughs> yeah, preferences. That's what they're worried about. <laughs> is, that for people that, is, is that for people that have no friends? <laughs> I'm going to hang out with my robot. It's for people who want to untether from their phone, right? <laughs> okay, so instead of gotcha. everyone, all of us sitting around the table looking at our devices, we're sitting with just another member of the group. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. There was something about a pill, Nora T, something about yes. a pill that acts like a stethoscope. What's that? That's this pill. So you swallow it, and it monitors your heart rate and your breathing rate from inside your body. Mm -hmm. It also measures your core body temperature. Normally, measuring that kind of thing would take an invasive technique. With this, you just swallow a pill, and it streams the data. Where does it go? Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> Out yeah. the other end. Yeah. Right. <laughs> From rooter to tutor. <laughs> I was referring to the information. Oh, oh okay. Charlie and I were clearly. I figured it came else. out of there, but I <laughs> where did the information go? Into it goes a computer. to a computer. And they, because this works with. But, but who has a computer, Charlie? Be quiet. Who has a computer, Sophie? So right now it's in development, so the okay. researchers have the computer. But uh, yeah, you could imagine a future where devices like this could sync to your cell phone. Okay. Let's talk about this 3D scan that's right here. I guess it works alongside your smartphone and you can scan objects and faces. What do you use that for? Well, you can use it for taking a model of, you can take a model of, say, that old-fashioned CBS microphone. And yes. it's great for, let's say you've got, you've got a, a, a piece of electronics and part of it breaks and you want to replace that part. You can scan that part and you can get a scan so this is a scan is kind of a rough oh, wow. version. It's a 3D scan. It's a 3D mm. scan. So the idea is you take oh. multiple scans, multiple 3D scans, the software stitches it together into a higher resolution image, and then you can print that out on your 3D printer. You can or, animate it. Or give it to your plastic surgeon 20 years later. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the fine hoverboard. The hoverboard is amazing. This is a totally DIY craft. A Canadian inventor decided he wanted a hoverboard. This is the only hoverboard that can go 16 feet up in the air. Whoa. You've seen hoverboards with wow, wheels. This yeah. thing actually yes. flies. This guy used it to break the Guinness World Record for the furthest hoverboard flight. He flew over 900 feet. And right now, he's working on taking his DIY version, which has like a handheld remote made out of pliers. And he wants to make this a marketable version that it. people could buy. Very cool. Sophie. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you.